Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Adding the Update Use Case to the MVC Database Example. In this video, we'll review the design diagrams for the Update Use Case. We'll create the Update Use Case components in our Eclipse Database project. Let's think about what the viewer will see we have displayed a site map. As we saw in the example, the first page is the table with the data from the database. If they click on Add Entry, they had an Add Entry page. When they filled that out and clicked on Add Entry, they went back to the Browse table. If they clicked on Update, they go to an Update Entry page, they make adjustments as necessary, click Update Entry, and they go back to the table view again. Delete, as far as the user is concerned, simply displays the table again, but with one less record than was there before. The third use case will be to update data. Update will be clicked by the client. This will go to the update form servlet. Update form servlet will need to enlist the help of a record query class in order to get the current data for the book selected. It will use the book class as needed. When the record query class and the servlet are complete, execution will be passed on to the update form view so that we can see in the response, the update entry page is shown here. The user will be able to change data as necessary and click on update entry, which will send a new request. This servlet will use the help of an update query to perform the update and change the data in the database. Notice that when the update servlet is finished, instead of sending execution to a JSP to handle a view, we're going to make a request back to our first use case. So it's as if we're making a new request to a servlet instead of to a JSP. For this use case, we'll need to create one, two, three, four, five additional components. This class diagram illustrates a book class that we'll create to correspond to the table in our database. So we'll have a title, an author, and pages as fields. We'll have two overloaded constructors, one that allows us to enter the title, author, and pages, and one that takes no parameter. We'll have getters and setters for each of the instance variables and we'll have a toString method. We'll use this class as needed when we create, read, update, and delete books to our book database. Here's the IPO table for our read record query object. This will be called from the update form servlet. Update form servlet will pass along the database name, the database username, and the database password. We'll also pass along the book ID. Read record will need to create the connection, create a prepared statement, set up the prepared statement with the query and the book ID, send the query to the database, and get back the results. To process the results, it will create a book object, which it will send back to the destination update form servlet. Here we are back in Eclipse, ready to create our update use case components. We see that we have numerous components for add, delete, and read already included. The Java servlets are stored in our controllers package. Helper classes which connect to the database are in our DB helpers package. And we have a book class which is stored in our model. In addition, we have several JSPs already available. Our project also includes the MySQL connector J component, which is the driver from Java to MySQL. The first component that we're going to create will be our read record Java class and this will be stored in DB helpers. The purpose of read record is to receive a book ID and then and then to retrieve the data from that book from the database. Right click on DB helpers, select new, select class, note it's in the correct source folder, note the package is correct. For the name let's call it read record. We'll leave the modifiers as public. We'll also leave the super class. No interfaces. Method stubs are how we like them. And let's generate comments. Click finish. For this one we're going to need several fields. First let's make a connection field. Private connection connection. Note there's an error because we need to input because we need to import the connection from the java.sql package. Let's also create our result set as a field. Call it results. 
Again, we need to import result set from our java.sql package. Let's create a book object as a field, private book, book equals new book. This is the book object that we will fill up with the data from the database record. Note we also need to import our book class from the model. Finally, we're going to need a book ID, so let's make that a field as well. We're going to need a constructor for our read record class, public read record. Let's pass it a string for db name. Let's pass it a string for the uname. Let's pass it a string for the password. In addition, let's go ahead and pass in the book ID to the constructor. For the database, we need to set up the URL to make the connection. So let's type string URL equals jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash local host colon 3306 slash then outside the quotes we'll concatenate the database name. Let's also set the field book ID equal to the one that's passed in by the parameter. Next we need to set up the driver and make our connection. So class dot for name com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. We need to get a new instance of that class. Note an error unhandled exception, class not found exception. We need a try catch block to surround. So let's surround with a try multi catch. Now we need to use the driver to make the connection. This dot connection equals driver manager dot get connection and we'll pass it the URL. Another error unhandled exception so let's add the catch for this to the existing catch clause. I believe that does it for our constructor. Now we need a do read method. Public void do read. Here we'll set up a query, string query equals. Remember we're reading this from the database. So select star from books where book ID equals question mark. Question mark is a token, kind of a placeholder, a blank if you will, that we need to fill in. To fill in the blank and to send the query, we're going to create a prepared statement object. We'll call it PS for short, equals connection dot prepare statement. And we'll provide it with our query string. There's an error this also needs to be imported from java.sql. The next error is an unhandled exception, so we'll surround with try catch. Next, we need to fill in the blank. PS dot set which data type? Well, book ID is an integer, so we're going to go with set int, the parameter index. It's the first and only question mark, so we'll put a 1 here, and then the value comes from this dot book ID. So let's set this dot results equal to ps dot execute query and we should get the result set. We only have one possible record that we're getting from this particular query so we only need to move the result set pointer one time. To do that type this dot results dot next. Now once we're pointing at the single record we can now create our book object and set its values. Book dot set book ID this dot results dot get int from column 1. 
do the same thing for author, title, and pages. Keep in mind that author and title are strings. So we'll set author this dot results dot get string. I forgot which column index, so let's just use the name author book dot set title this dot results dot get string quote title end quote finally book dot set pages this dot results dot get int pages now our book object has been set. The only thing left we need to do within this class is to provide a way to get the book. A simple getter should do that. Public book get book return this dot We'll save that, and that should complete the read record class. Here is our IPO table for our update form servlet. A request will come in to update form servlet from the read.jsp component, which will provide a book ID. Update form servlet will get the book ID input, and then it will create a read record object to get book data. When it does this, it will pass along a database name, a database username, database password and the book ID to read record. Read record will pass back a book thus satisfying using the book data to create the book object. The book object will then be passed along to update form.jsp. Back in Eclipse we're ready to create our update form servlet. Right click on the controllers package, select new and select servlet. Note project is correct, source folder is correct, Java package controllers is correct. For the class name, let's call it update form servlet. The superclass looks okay. Let's select next. Name is update form servlet, works okay. For the description, recall that this will get a book and use the data to fill in a table for updating the record. We'll need no initialization parameters, but we do want to change the URL mapping to simply lowercase update. Click Next. Leave the modifiers as is. Interfaces, leave blank. And our method stubs, we'll leave those as is. Select Finish. So here we have our update form servlet. Let's allow both the do get, but let's do all of our processing in the post. So to easily do that, this dot do post and pass along the request and the response. In the do post, we have several things that are going to happen. We need to get the book ID. We need to create a read record class use read record to get the book data pass book and control to the update form dot JSP. So for book ID, we're going to need an int book ID equals request dot get parameter book ID. However, request parameters are always string, so we're going to need to do integer dot parse int 
to surround this. So we have the book ID. Let's create a read record class. Read record, call it RR for short, equals new read record. I need to give it my database name, SIA library, my username, which is root, password for my SQL installation, which is string, and now we're also going to give this one the book ID, as we created in the constructor. A couple errors. One is I misspelled read record. Let's correct that. And then read record actually needs to be imported from my DB helpers package. So let's do that. So with read record, we need to run the do read method. That should set up the book. And now let's get a book object from the read record. Get book. We also need to import the book from our model. Now we're going to need to pass that book on to the JSP. So let's do request.set attribute. Let's call it book. And we'll send the book object. We're going to need to send this on to the JSP. So let's first create a URL. And this will go to our update form.jsp. Request dispatcher dispatcher equals request dot get request dispatcher. Send it our URL. Also need to import that from javax.servlet. And now we can forward and send the request and the response along with it. So now we have two of our update use case components. Here's the IPO table for our update form.jsp. Control will be passed to updateform.jsp from the update form servlet. It will pass along a book object. Update form will get the book object and it will use it to create an HTML form that is already filled in with the current book data from the database. So the form will be passed along to the user. This will go to the client browser. Ultimately though, once the client fills in the form on the browser, the next request will go to the update book servlet. Now let's build our third component for the update use case, namely our update form.jsp. This is a view component, so it will be stored in the web content section of our project. Right click on web content, select new and JSP file. Note that it's going to be stored in the right parent folder. And let's change the name to updateform.jsp. And click finish. Recall that the updateform.jsp will receive a book object and will use the book object to create a form, much like the form provided in our add form. So let's first get the book object. Book book equals recall that we added it as an attribute to the request object so request dot get attribute and we labeled it book remember attributes are always generic objects so we need to cast this to a book class book is not going to be recognized unless we import it so let's make a page command page import equals model dot book. Okay, now we have the book object. Let's have a look at our, at our add form. A couple things here. Let's grab the title. Let's 
update that for us and change it to update a book. Let's also use that for a visible title as an H1. Back to add form, we want a similar form to what is here. So let's copy that. Now let's change a few things. First the form name, let's change that to update form. The action should be update book. We can leave method get if we like. Recall that we're doing our servlet so that both do get and do post will allow a request. Now in the book title, we want the value to be something other than a blank. We want this to come from the current book. So let's inject right here the book dot get title. Similarly, let's inject get author. get pages. Let's add an additional set of boxes for the book ID. So let's make the book ID text box uneditable. We can do that by simply adding a disabled parameter to the tag. This should make it viewable, but we won't be able to change it. Finally, let's make an adjustment just to the title of the submit button, and we'll say update the book. At this point, we have the first few components and we have a view that we can test. So let's right click on the project to build the project. Let's select run as, run on server. Let's spin up the server and then my browser will show. Click on read the database, I should see a list of the books. If I click on update for Cryptonomicon, it should call the update form servlet and provided the book ID, in this case one, update form servlet should contact read query in order to get the data for Cryptonomicon and then it will pass it on to update form.jsp to put into the form. Let's see what happens. I see a 500 error meaning there's an error in my code. Null pointer exception. Something is being used that hasn't yet been defined. If I check back in Eclipse, here at the console, let's look at that for another clue. A problem in do read, when I'm trying to read the record. But the first error is access denied for user at localhost to database sci-fi library. So let's see what's going on where I'm calling the new instance and making the connection in read record. Okay, so here we go, string URL, that looks good to me. This book is just reading in the book ID. Class for name, string looks okay. This connection, get connection, hmm. I believe I've left off a couple of things. I left out the username and the password so that my connection can log in to the database. Let's clear this out. Delete the server. Let's clear the console. And let's try again. Project run as run on server. Read the database. 
I click update for Cryptonomicon, it will send book ID 1 to the update form servlet, which will use read record to read the information about Cryptonomicon book, then go to the form.jsp to show display it. Now there's a URL error. Either my update is incorrect, which I don't think so because it tried to run read query. Probably the URL to my update form was slightly off. I set it to updateform.jsp. I set my URL to updateform.jsp, but do you see the problem? Note in the request dispatcher I put URL in as a literal value. That should be a variable, so let me take that out just some of the common errors one can make as they're working through this code. Let's hit delete. Okay. Try it one more time. Build project. Run on server. Read the database, update, ah, now we see the information. Note a little bit more errors to fix. I'll fix that, but I won't run it again. You notice that we're showing some uh, angle brackets. Need to make sure that's taken out and not included in our form, otherwise it won't work. At this point, update the book will also show an error because we have not made the next set of components. So in update form.jsp, my error here is I've included an extra angle bracket inside of each quote. I need to delete that out. Here is our update query input process output table. Update query will be called from the update book servlet. Update book servlet will pass along database name, database username, database password, and a book object. Update query will then create a connection using that information, create a prepared statement, set up the prepared statement with the data from the book, will then send the query to the database and process any results if needed. Nothing will need to be passed back as we return to the update book servlet. Okay, let's add the fourth component in our update use case, namely the update query class. This will be a DB helper class, so right click on DB helpers select new and class. Note the source folder is correct as is the package for the name. We'll write update query. Leave modifiers as is with public. Keep the superclass as is. No interfaces. Leave the stubs checked as they are and let's generate comments. Click finish. Update query will be the query where we actually update the database. In this one, we'll only need our connection to be a field, so let's create that. To import connection from java.sql package. Now let's create our constructor. As before, with our other components, we'll do public update query, and this will take three inputs, string, our DB name, string, our username, and string, our password. I could read in the book object here and set it as a field, but I think I'll just pass it to the update method later. So I need to set up my connection string, string URL equals JDBC colon my SQL colon localhost colon 3306 for the port slash and then we'll concatenate on the database name. Next let's get next let's connect to the driver. It's a class dot foreign name provide the appropriate driver string which is com dot my sequel dot jdbc dot big d driver and we'll get 
a new instance. Note an error. We need to surround with a try multi catch. Now let's use the driver to set up our connection. This dot connection equals driver manager dot get connection with our URL. Let's not make the same mistake as before. Let's add the username and the password. There's an error. We need to add the exception to the existing catch clause. That should conclude my constructor, which will simply set up the connection. The only thing left we need is a method that will do the update. Let's create public void do update and let's pass it the book. Note an error on book which says we need to import book from the model. So in here we need to create our query string. So string query equals this is an update query so update the table books we're going to set title equal to something, author equal to something, and pages equal to something. Recall that the question mark is used in a query string as a placeholder, and we'll fill in the blank using prepared statement methods. Where book ID equals to something. So we have four placeholders here that we need to fill in. So let's create a prepared statement with our query. Prepared statement ps equals connection dot prepare statement and we'll give it our query string. Note we need to import the prepared statement from java.sql and then we need to surround our statement with a try catch. Now let's fill in the blanks. The first two blanks are strings. So let's do that set ps dot set string parameter number one because it's the first question mark and then the value is coming from our book object. Book dot get title. Make sure it matches the one that you're getting for number one. PS dot set string again. This time question mark number two. Next book dot get author. Now the third pages is an int, so we need to call set int parameter number three book dot get pages and finally the fourth is also an integer so ps dot set int for book dot get book ID so at this point our query should be filled in with the appropriate values injected in the right way into our query string now we just need to perform the query with an update, we use the execute update method. This would return an integer, but we don't really need to use that, so I'm not going to store that in a local variable. This should conclude our update query class. Here's our final IPO table for our update book servlet. A request will come into the update book servlet from the update form.jsp. It will pass along the values that are in the form, the book ID, the author, the title, and the pages. Update book servlet will get the input data and it will use this to create a book object. It will then create an update query object, passing along the database name, the database username, database password, and the book object, which update query will use. So update book servlet will then use update query to update the book. We'll finally pass control on to the read servlet in order to redisplay the book table. 
Now it's time to make our final update use case component, namely the update book servlet. Note quickly in the update form.jsp the action of the form is called update book. So when we create this servlet, we need to make that our URL mapping. Right click on controllers, new, select servlet, note the project is correct, as is the source folder, and it's in the appropriate Java package. Let's call the class name update book servlet. Select next for a description, controller which starts the actual book update to the database. We need no initialization parameters. We do need to adjust our URL mapping. We'll highlight that and then edit. We're going to change this to update book to match our form action. And select finish. Once again, let's allow both a do get and a do post, but have all of our code in do post. So we'll have this dot do post request response as our only statement in do get, redirecting traffic down to the do post area. For our servlet, we need to get the form data and set up a book object, create an update query object, and use it to update the book. And finally, we want to pass control on to the read servlet so we can see our changes in the database. So let's start. These are request parameters, so it's pretty straightforward at this point. Int book ID equals, we're going to want to parse it because parameters are always string. And request dot get parameter book ID. If you're not sure what the names are, look back at the update form.jsp. I do notice book ID name was called title. That's an error I caught by looking. The others are title, author, and pages. So let's do string title equals request dot get parameter title. Do the same thing with author. Then I'll also need the pages, which is an int. Now we need an update query object. Recall, we only pass the parameters that make the connection for our constructor. Let's call it uq for short, equals new, update query. Give it our DB name, scif underscore library. Username for me is root. Password for my installation is a blank string. I need to import update query from my DB helpers package. Now I simply do update query dot do update and I pass it a book object, which is not going to work because I haven't yet created a book object. So let's go back up here and make the book object. Book, book, equals new book. Let's import book. And then set the values. Book dot set book ID book ID. Book dot set author is from author. Book dot set title from title. Book dot set page.
pages from pages. Everything should be copacetic at the moment. Read our data, set up a book, set up a query, run the update with the book. Now string URL equals let's read. We need to get a request dispatcher. need to import the request dispatcher from javax.servlet and now we can forward on to the read to see the results. Now that should conclude our last component of the update use case. Now we need to test. Right click, build the project if needed. Right click, run as, run on server, make sure Tomcat is running, hit finish. So when I click I should see the database table. I see that. Let's update Cryptonomicon which is the first one. Let's just simply change the pages 651 maybe to 700. So when I click on update book it should go to the update book servlet which will utilize the update query and provide it with this book information. It then should run a query that will update the record to where Cryptonomicon has 700 pages. It should then pass control back to read servlet which will see the table again in our browser with the new number. Let's see if that works. 500 exception, number format exception null. So there's an error. Look for more clues. I see number format exception null. I'm parse int of something. I click on which one that is. Let's not do that. That would be at line 42. Is that because I have disabled book ID? Let's take that off and see if that works. So I'll build, build, build the project, run as, run on server, update Cryptonomicon, change to 700, update the book, and I'm not seeing an update now. See a new error, SQL syntax. So let's check the SQL syntax in my update query. Okay, I think I see the problem. In my SQL syntax, I included the word and. That's what I get for talking while I'm typing. I'll adjust that. I'll clear my console, clear out my server, right click, build project, run as, run on server, and finish. Read the database, 
update, change to 700, update the book, Eureka, it is now working. There were a few bumps in the road, and I left in where I had to fix those bumps so that you can see a little bit of the debugging process. But finally, we've got the full sci-fi library application running. For more information about the concepts that you learned in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.